Hello, and this is TomTomGo98, and I am doing a unboxing video of the XYZ printing 3D printer I got, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I was really into 3D printing and learning how it worked, so I bought one, so it was really cool. So, um, here's the box it came in. It had the black straps holding it together and once you unbox the top part you get um like basic stuff that comes with it like uh the scraper the usb cable stuff like that and there's a lot of styrofoam to hold in the printer so it doesn't break during shipping which it didn't which i was really happy because there have been multiple complaints that they've had their lcd uh, screen break in shipping and it comes with uh, one spool of white filament right there I also got black and white filament so here's the stuff in the first part that came it came with the CD with the software we already installed that off their website and instruction manual the warranty stuff like that and basically how to set up your printer for the first time then it comes with uh, like some cleaning tools to clean the extruder. Uh, you got the the shield door things for the handles, and basically, yeah, that. And then we have the printer itself, which is pretty big and heavy. Um, but it has those handles in the side, which makes it a lot easier to carry. And there's the power and more styrofoam so taking apart the printer was pretty easy there's just a lot of bags and cardboard so there's the initial bag you take off there's a, they make the tape orange color so it's pretty easy to notice if you missed any but I take off the bag here and then I you just keep taking off basically a, there's the plastic wrap stuff to protect the clear plastic coating and then you got all the orange stickers surrounding the printer so you can see inside there there's the uh, everything's really nicely um, protected it's shipped very well it's not broken nothing broke yeah so taking apart or yeah, taking all the stuff off wasn't that hard. It just took a couple minutes of your time. I wanted to go really fast so I could plug this thing in and get its first print in. So I was pretty anxious. So there's the back door thing where you plug in the USB, the power supply, and there's a switch in the back. Now there's this cardboard thing to keep the plate from moving up and down. And that actually was kind of hard to take out. Like, I didn't want to break it. That would be a shame. But I got it out after a couple of tries. And then you have the tape and some styrofoam pieces holding that uh, base plate, the heated base plate, in there. And then there's uh, also some parts up on the top where they hold the belt and the bars that go horizontally in place so and there's tape holding them there too so here is me taking it the styrofoam parts out those are pretty easy to take out they just slide out and then there's the orange part right there which has tape and then you just unscrew it pretty easy and it came out with your hands and then there's that orange part that's on the what the filament basically where if there's filament that's left over it just drops it in there instead of on the ground which is a pretty good idea so there's some tape on there and um, once you get the tape off you can easily take it out and clean it up so there's the white filament out of the container and you have to remove that little white dot plug thing on it I don't know why you have to but it's required and then you just put the filament back in the back of the printer. Um, you want to make sure you put it in the right way so the chip on the bottom 
connect to the little connector on the bottom and it should slide in perfectly and then you move the white thing you moved over to secure it in the top and once it's secured you can take the filament from the top of the spool and thread it through there's this little clear tube and then you put it right on top of the extruder so that wasn't too hard the hard part was is to get the filament actually to go all the way through the fill uh, the filament to go through the extruder all the way the first time it took uh, my dad and I had a couple of tries to put it back in all the way so you got to push pretty hard and it starts heating up and once um, you do that then we finally got it to come through and when it comes through you like say yep it worked and it knows there's filament running and it's weird the filament that we put in there was white but what actually came out was yellow so we're guessing that the the factory or something put yellow filament to test it and then so the first part of our print was yellow so it was pretty interesting so and then you want to put this glue on top of the the base which helps uh, the ABS connect to the base better and then the print that we started was a demo print called the star vase which when it's finished it looks actually really nice so you, you can see here the base is going up all the way to the top to uh, where the extruder is and it's I don't know why it did that little up down thing and then you have to wait until the base and the extruder are at this right temperature we found out the platform has to be around like 70 90 Celsius and then the extruder is like 220 around there so right now see you could see that some of the filament got stuck on there but that was fine there's a little cleaning thing it does but some of it got stuck but when it was uh, printing it was just fine it came off and we were able to pick it up so right now there's a little button right next to the the head of the extruder and it's the I don't I think it's calibrating right now so it presses it down and then it, the base moves down and it moves and it does that to like all the corners so there it's moving to the second corner and you can see it rises up and that little button that little dot right next to the the funnel and then it goes back down and then it just moves away and it it only did that for our first print so right now it's starting to print and before um, anything prints it always does like a general outline of the work area of when it's printing so there it's now it's starting to print the actual shape and it tells you when it's building and it tells how much time's passed and the estimated time it will take to finish right there it was like 900 99 hours but after it starts actually working and thinking it was about one hour to print this so right now it finished doing the first layer and it's going back and forth filling in what it outlined and the first couple layers of building it oh we it took it was a lot slower and then after that it sped up quite a bit and here's the finished product and it just finished and it looks pretty cool and then after it's done printing the it will tell you it's cooling and you don't want to touch it 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 lets you um you can skip it and remove it right away but you probably don't want to burn yourself so you just wait until it cools down and then the base lowers down all the way and then you can remove it and this is where it's starting to move down now it says you can remove your object so you just take the scraper thing and I thought it was actually going to take a lot of force to remove it from the base but it was actually pretty easy I could have probably just like took it up with my hands but didn't know that so for the first print it actually has pretty nice detail and see you can see at the bottom it had a little bit of yellow on the outside from the initial print but that's the DaVinci 1.0 printer made by 
XYZ Printing, and I hope you enjoyed this video.